Hi friends, this is Bilal Hader and this is my 31st video lecture on expert advisors. In this video, I'll be talking about um, history trades. Uh, I mean, uh, if you wanted to place um, a certain trade based on your previously closed trades, uh, you can do that um, after watching this video. For example, if um, if our expert advisor has placed some trade um, for euro dollar uh, pair and it closed in loss for example if you um, if you have placed an order right here of uh, type sell and it closed above here somewhere and it closed in loss and you want to trade based on that previous trade for example if the previous close trade for this euro dollar was in loss we want to place a trade of the opposite um, opposite type trade um, right now okay for example you placed a trade right here of type sell and it closed above here and it was in loss and now you want your expert advisor to open a trade of type um, of sell okay if uh, you want to place uh, a trade of type sell right here based on that previous trade whatever you want to do based on that previous trade whether you want to place a buy trade or sell trade right here that we are going to do in this video lecture okay so let's start I have already made um, expert advisor and I called it history okay and I have uh, I haven't done anything in it yet so let's start let's make a boolean type uh, function and let's call it get lost order okay as this function will be returning us true or false uh, whether the last uh, last trade on this pair was in loss or a was or was in profit okay so let's start for this tutorial we need a for loop which will be uh, looping through all our history trades uh, which are there at account history and then we'll select um, the last um, trades which was of uh, this pair and we'll see whether it was uh, closed in profit or whether it was closed in loss okay so let's start writing our code in i equals orders orders total so orders total and i is less than or uh, i is less than zero and i minus minus what this loop will do it will start uh, looping through all of our history trades and uh, from bottom up okay it will test it will check this order uh, then it will check this order and this order and this order okay so it will um, start looping through from bottom to the to up okay so now let's write order select function which will uh, which will which will select our order from the history trades the first argument it takes is the index number of the trade the order total orders total function will return the total number of orders which are there in history okay and now uh, the next argument it takes is the select by position and the next argument it takes is the mod mod underscore history 
okay now this function will start selecting the orders from the history from bottom up because of this function we have written about here okay so this function will select the very last order now what we want to do we want to check whether uh, this selected order order type is is of type by or set op underscore set because uh, we are not uh, concerned um, about our cancelled or delete pending orders we are only concerned about our closed market orders so the next uh, condition we want to check whether uh, the order um, order symbol which is selected is equal to the symbol of the chart okay so if the order symbol is euro us dollar and our expert advisor is attached to um, pound dollar then this order will be skipped and it will move to the next order okay so the next thing we want to check um, let's put and here because uh, we want to make sure that uh, whether the type the order type is buy or sell uh, its symbol must be equal to the symbol of the chart okay and the next um, condition we will write here is the order profit and order profit must be less than zero order profit uh, is less than zero means that order was closed in loss okay so now we have written uh, these conditions if these conditions are true for that selected trade we want to return return true and whenever we will call this function and if it returns true that means our previously closed trade of of this particular pair was in loss and based um, based on this uh, we can place a new order okay so let's make another condition let's copy this and paste it here all the things remain same um, one thing will be changed and that that will be the order profit if the order profit uh, was greater than zero that means order was closed in profit and we want to return false okay so based on these two conditions we can make um, our certain trade certain trades okay like if the previously closed order of this pair was in loss and we want to place a trade of a certain type okay you can do um, it for uh, certain type of orders if you want to check whether the previously uh, placed buy order if the previously uh, placed buy order was in loss you want to place another buy order with a greater lot size you can do that okay you have to make certain changes in that you have to remove this piece of code from here and you, have, you will be looping through all the buy trades and if the uh, last buy trade 
um, um, <clears throat> uh, is in loss, you can place another buy with a greater lot size. Okay, so now we have uh, made our particular function for that. Now let's use this function in our star function. Let's make a variable and let's call it b and b equals uh, get lost order and if b equals true if b equals true that means our previously closed order of this uh, pair was in loss what we want to do we want to increase our lot size uh, equals to if the lot size was previously one we want to increase the lot size by factor uh, by lot equals 1.2 okay and then we can <coughs> make an order we can place an order open by and we can pass uh, this lot size into that function so that uh, this function will place an order of this much lot okay and else if b equals false that means our previously closed order was in profit we want to place a trade of the same lot size okay which was previously defined for example if the previously defined lot size was 1 we want to place um, a buy trade or whatever you want to do you um, we want to place a buy trade of the same lot size as it was previously previously defined okay let's remove this and this is all for this tutorial and now you know how to use your history trades in your trading uh, in your expert advisor and based on those previously closed trades you can place new trades and you can improve your expert advisors uh, this is all for this tutorial thank you for watching this tutorial uh, you know this is um, a very basic tutorial it needs to be improved you can do several things um, you can change several things in this uh, expert and you can improve it a little for you um, for now thank you for watching this tutorial